You know, as a third line, I think we've been you know, really doing our job. Um, you know, Cap was um, playing some of his best hockey. Um, me and Kuz like. Um, so I think we just keep pushing along, and you know we're gonna we're gonna do really good things. I'm sure this doesn't end it though. It's not like okay, now I made it. Like I'm sure you still feel that need to keep keep pushing, right? Yeah, for sure. It's you know it's it's kind of been my whole career. It's uh, you know as soon as you get comfortable, um, bad things happen. So. Um, you keep pushing, um, keep driving every day. Every day is a new day. So, um, you know, me, Cap, and, uh, and Cools have just kind of had that mindset every night of just being able to be, be game changers and uh, be difference makers out there instead of just kind of cruising through the game. So, um, we've been doing a good job of that. Awesome. What was your reaction when you got the message? Um, I mean, it was great. I, we signed it last night, so um, it was just right after the game. So, um, extremely excited. Uh, family's excited. I uh, can't wait to be back for another two years. Would you uh, get anything from your teammates if they say anything? No, they, they found out as soon as the news broke this morning. So. How many V-Bucks are you going to buy with your uh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they all, they all found out like just before we went on the ice. So I got some, uh, got some razz right before the, the practice. What does it mean for you to sum, kind of sum it up just to know you'll be here uh, under contract for two years? Yeah, it's great. It's, it's just a little bit of stability, too, for uh, me and the family, um, especially two daughters, it's nice to maybe find a school or find somewhere to, to put her for a couple years. And just your journey, just to sum it up where, you know, it's it's been uh, a long journey, actually. Yeah, for sure. It's been very long. It's been through uh, been through a lot, you know, playing in L.A. for a few years, uh, got hurt, didn't get re-signed, um, and then kind of kicking around the minors for a long, long time, um, battling through injuries and, you know, find, knowing that I could do it, um, never really getting the opportunity, finally getting the opportunity. Um, kind of taking it, so I think that's just the, the biggest thing is just not giving up. What was last night like for you guys coming off the emotions of Sunday? No, I mean, it's, it's, um, it, was, uh, it was a tough game, uh, to be honest. It was uh, just from the whole weekend, from Friday to skate outdoors to Saturday, just getting excited. Um, Sunday, the big happening, and, and uh, I think the way that game ended, the way we came back, is just a lot of uh, a lot of emotions, a lot of a lot of investment physically and mentally uh, into that game. So um, even with a day off before the, the Dallas game, you, you felt like um, you know it was a game we had to battle through a little bit, and, and I thought we did. And, uh, fought hard for that win, and you know I was playing against a good team, so that was uh, that one felt good. How do you feel when you see a guy like Raskis, you know, rewarded for his hard work uh, and his journey trying to be an NHL? No, I mean he's he's uh, he's an awesome guy. Um, works extremely hard, uh, very honest, and, and uh, you know he's uh, he's gone maybe a little bit different route than than. Uh, some guys, so it's, it's uh, um, awesome, and I'm happy for him, obviously, and, and uh, you know, good to have him, uh, good to have him around. And you're like, you're playing another rival, you get to see the Islanders over the week, and now you get the Devils tomorrow. Just another rival this week. Yeah, I mean, those those games are uh, um, always intense. They're fun, um, good games, and and uh, you know, it's not just a rival, but it's a, a division rival as well. So. Um, you know, two big points on the line, so we, we um, get a chance to regroup here today and, and uh, get ready for tomorrow.